There is a strong relationship between psychological stress and the effects that stress has on our bodies, including alterations in our immune system, so making it harder for us to fight infection, having a poorer outcome on surgeries, increased risk of obesity and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, as well as preventing or altering the healing process within our body. If you'd like to find out exactly the impact that stress has on the body, how that can prevent you from healing from conditions such as back pain or other musculoskeletal conditions, and how you can significantly reduce stress within your daily life, then keep on watching because I'm going to show you exactly how. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen. I'm a chiropractor and I'm passionate about helping you optimize your health and living pain free. And today I'm going to be talking about stress because as a lot of us know, stress is so prevalent within our Western society and something that's certainly been on the rise within the last year with the pandemic um, and all the lockdowns that have been happening. The government have estimated that around 828,000 people have been affected by work-related stress with 17.9 million work days lost from it. So it's certainly a big problem and something that we, we know is a big issue within our society. Stress can come from all sorts of different areas of life. If it's from work, from finances, to job security, to family life and relationships. It doesn't matter where it comes from, it's gonna have a big impact on your health if it's sustained for a long period of time. So what I'm gonna to do to begin with is explain the nervous system, which will help me to explain the impacts that stress has on the body and on the different systems within our body. And then stick around to the end because I'm gonna go through my top seven ways in which you can reduce stress within your life. So the nervous system is split into two parts. We have the central nervous system where we've got the brain and the spinal cord that's housed within the skull and the spinal column and then we've got the peripheral nervous system and the peripheral nervous system is basically everything that is on the outside of the center or the central nervous system the peripheral nervous system then is split into two parts again and we have here the somatic nervous system which is anything that's voluntary so that's mainly going to be our muscular system giving us the ability to be able to move under voluntary control then we have the autonomic nervous system and that's going to be our involuntary system that's going to control anything from the digestive tract to the reproductive tract to your immune system everything that happens outside of your control to keep you alive the autonomic system then again is split into two parts we have the sympathetic nervous system and we have the parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is going to be your fight or flight nervous system. This is going to be the nervous system that's going to kick in if you're in danger, if you're running away from a lion, for example. It's going to increase your heart rate and constrict your blood vessels to get the blood faster into your muscles. It's going to increase your blood sugar so you've got more sugar, more energy going to the muscles. It's going to increase the muscle tone as well as increase in the stress response within the body. All this is designed to get you out of danger. What it's also going to do then is it's going to suppress the parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system is going to be what's known as your rest and digest nervous system. This is involved with your digestion, with reproduction and your immune system. Things that you don't need if you're running away from that lion, it's not going to be a priority in that state. So it's going to shut them off temporarily and then it will continue their function when you're back into your restful state. Stress comes about then when when your sympathetic nervous system is driven into a constant state, which then will inhibit your parasympathetic nervous system. This is a problem because if you inhibit your parasympathetic nervous system, you're going to inhibit things like digestion, which can give you problems within your stomach and your digestive tract. You can inhibit your reproductive system, possibly making you more infertile, and you're gonna inhibit your immune system, making it more difficult for you to fight infection. And most importantly, and what we're concentrating here on this video, is it's going to inhibit your healing process. Just as a side note, if you're finding value from this video, 
video, then please do hit that like button as it's going to help me get this video out to more people and help me to achieve my goal of optimizing people's health and helping people to live pain free. So if you're in, in this state of stress, then what can you do about it? Well, my first suggestion is probably gonna be the obvious one, and that is to get rid of anything in your life that is giving you stress. If that's from work or finances or relationships, you need to do what you can to get rid of the things that are providing you stress within your life. But I do know this is easier said than done, which is why I've come up with my top seven things in which you can add into your daily life to help you reduce stress. So number one is gonna be a diaphragmatic breathing exercise. What you're gonna do is lie onto your back. You're gonna put one hand onto your stomach, the other hand is gonna go onto the chest. And what we want to imagine is that there's a balloon in your stomach and as you breathe in you're going to blow that balloon up the reason why this is important is because we want to be using our diaphragm when we're breathing there are two muscles that we use when we're breathing the first one's the diaphragm and the second one is going to be what we call our accessory muscles that's going to be our intercostals over our ribs as well as our scalenes at the top here as well as a few other muscles the accessory muscles are designed to only be used when we need to be breathing really fast. So when we're in that sympathetic mode, if we're running away from danger, you need to be breathing as fast as you can to get oxygen into your lungs as fast as you can. Therefore, you're gonna need these accessory muscles. The problem is, is that a lot of us end up always breathing through these accessory muscles and not using our diaphragm enough. This is gonna cause more tension up here and increase our muscle tone and increase that stressful state. So this exercise is designed to help you breathe from the diaphragm, which is gonna help you then relax. So the way that breathing works is that you have your diaphragm that's on the bottom of your rib cage here. It's shaped in a dome position, and as it contracts, or as you breathe in, it flattens when it flattens it pulls the lungs down which opens up the lungs which is going to increase the volume and therefore decrease the pressure within the lungs as that pressure decreases it's going to just draw air into those lungs which is giving you your breathing as a diaphragm comes down then what it's also going to do is you're going to put more pressure into your abdominal area and that's why if you're using a diaphragm correctly, you should see your stomach poke out as you breathe. So with this exercise then, you need to make sure that your stomach is coming up, which is why you're gonna place a hand on that stomach and then the other hand on the chest. You should see that the chest doesn't move, but your stomach is going up and down. The reason why you're on your back is because it's a lot easier to see whether you're doing this correctly or not. When you get good at this, once you practice this enough, then you can start to do it in other positions and hopefully start to integrate it into your normal breathing. Eventually it will become a habit and this is an area where you'll start to breathe normally. Number two then is gonna be meditation or prayer. Putting your mind in a state of relaxation, clearing everything out of your mind is one of the best things you can do to reduce stress. It takes away all that energy that is in your brain, all those things that you're thinking about and gets you into a relaxed state. You can then focus on relaxing all of your muscles. The funny thing is about muscles is that they don't always relax until you tell them to relax. So it's not a case of not tensing them. Sometimes you actually need to tell them to relax. And if you're always busy, always got thoughts in your mind and you're rushing around, then you can end up with a lot of tension within your muscles. So meditation is so good to be doing daily. I do this every day. I do this in the form of prayer. I do this in the morning. I spend a minimum of five minutes, even if it's a couple of minutes, it can still be very effective. Obviously, the longer you do, the better and the more you're going to get out of this. But this has been shown to be very effective in reducing that stress and bringing relaxation into your body. Number three then is going to be to take a bath. A hot bath can heat up those muscles, increasing the blood flow to those muscles, which can then help them to relax. This is gonna to add to promoting to the parasympathetic system. And in fact, with the bath, you can do the three that I've mentioned already all together. You can do the meditation in the bath and you can also do the diaphragmatic breathing. So you can do all three there. Number four is gonna be exercise. Exercise has been shown to be highly effective for reducing stress because it's kind of like 
an active version of meditation. When you're on that run, you tend to turn off to the things that are around you and so you can actually clear your mind. At the same time, you're getting a release of endorphins, which are these feel-good hormones, which can act as a natural painkiller. So it can also be very good um, if you're in pain, but also promote that parasympathetic system. Number five is going to be to eat healthy. What you put into your body has a massive impact on pretty much every area of your body. You want to make sure that you're getting the right nutrition and you're not taking in things such as coffee or tea, particularly because these are going to stimulate your sympathetic system. So if you're somebody that gets very stressed, I would lay off the caffeine as much as you can, as well as laying off cigarettes and drinking. You wanna make sure you get a good varied diet so that your system, your body is working to its very best and so you're not stressing it in that sense. One supplement I would recommend if you get stressed very easily would be magnesium, particularly if you get tension within the muscles because magnesium is very good for the nervous system and for the muscles. So that can be something you can try. If you wanna find out more about magnesium, then check out my video here as I go into more detail on that one. Number six then is going to be laughing. Laughing has been shown to increase endorphins similar to exercise. It puts you into a good mood which then can help you to relax and inhibit that stress response. So that's a very good thing to be doing on a regular basis. Number seven then is going to be to listen to music. Music has been shown by various different studies to be very effective for relaxing the mind. One study done by MindLab, they took a bunch of participants that were doing very difficult puzzles to initiate that stress response and they gave different participants different music and they found a 35% decrease in their anxiety when certain pieces of music was played during doing that puzzle compared to the group that weren't listening to any music at all. So this can be very effective. So try and implement as many of these things as you can. If you are very stressed, the more you do, the better, as well as trying to get rid of anything in your life that is causing you stress. And this is gonna help to promote healing within the body and help you get over things like back pain or different conditions, as well as helping you fight different conditions and viruses. Just to finish off then, please do hit that subscribe button if you want to hear more videos like this one every week and hit that bell button so you know when my videos are being released. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.